Back for training, and someone around here smells. <laughs> oh, it's actually me. <laughs> Awkward. Good morning and welcome to another video. And I got back from Amsterdam last night. I had a freaking awesome time. The stag do was so much fun. If for some reason you haven't seen that video, go and watch it now. I'll put it up on Sunday. It is worth watching for the Zorb footage alone. Um, anyway, today I'm back in the game. I've got some work to do. I've got some training to do. I've got some food to eat. So I thought um, I would take you through my day. Kind of look at it as like a recovering from a weekend of going out and drinking and stuff day. So, um, I mean, in terms of what I'm going to do, it's probably not going to be that much different because I feel pretty good. But I will be drinking a lot more uh, fluid. I will try and eat like more fruit and stuff and probably just generally make sure I get loads and loads of food because I feel, I feel like it kind of helps me replenish my stores and just feel a bit more normal. So um, let's get on with it. So breakfast is served. And before I start, in case you're wondering, my uh, face, predominantly my eyes, that is not over the remnants of like a weekend of drinking a party. It's actually just my allergy. So it's been raining all weekend. Plus in our hostel room, everyone's drying towels are hanging out all over the place. And I have a damp allergy and so it's hit me pretty freaking hard and it's all just contribute contributing to my kind of overall feeling of a bit like groggy and a bit rubbish so uh, what better way to resolve that than with some other friggin Cheerios um, as you can see they're hoopalicious and more importantly they contain oats barley wheat maize and rice the five main food groups so I'm pretty much covered it also for all the treasure hunters out there I buried some shreddies underneath because there was like five shreddies left and it was annoying me just having them in the cupboard. Um, oh my goodness. My eyes are like really, really, particularly my right eye, they're really struggling. Stop touching it. That's annoying. Like when I get allergic, like level one allergy is just like a bit sniffy. Level two is like sneezing loads and sniffing. Level three, which is this, is like my eyes get all like, like annoying as well. Uh, so I'm gonna have this. I've got a banana. I've got my uh, glucosamine, alpha male and omega three. And then I've got a bit of work to do. So let's make it happen. Okay, work cam is very much in operation. I've done like an hour and a half. Um, I have also <clears throat> been drinking freaking loads. That is my number one tip. Like if you are hungover or you just, I don't know, feeling a bit crap, just drink freaking loads of water. Like I did that on the Saturday night in Amsterdam. Um, I got back and I downed like three of those. And in the morning, like most people were struggling and I genuinely felt pretty good. Uh, this is number two for the day already. I also have a decaf coffee uh, because that is more liquid and it's nice. Um, so I'm going to finish a couple more emails off and then I'm going to head to the gym. I've got a big session today, the last big session before I test, so I'm testing next week. Today is going to be uh, kind of like some conservative singles, I guess. So I'm going to work up to 92.5% of my max for squat, bench and deadlift. Um, should be exciting, so let's get on with it.
and I am done. And that was, I guess, maybe like a seven out of ten, six and a half. It was okay. Like I felt quite sore. I think from the combination of absorbing and just loads of walking around Amsterdam, my back was quite sore. So it took a while to get into things. But the squat moved okay. Bench press, I, I misgrooved it, but it felt okay. Um, and then the deadlift again was okay, so that'll do. But that is now the last uh, like heavy session I'm doing. So I say this time next week I'm testing. So from here on in, it's just going to be progressively deloading until it is go time. Right, I've got some uh, protein here, chocolate smooth whey. People still ask me what is my favourite flavour, what is the best flavour. In my opinion, it is a choice of vanilla or chocolate smooth. If you go for vanilla. You can't really get sick of it, and the bonus is that you can add things to it to make it taste different, so like Nesquik or whatever. Uh, chocolate Smooth is probably a bit nicer, but obviously when you get that, you are restricted to Chocolate Smooth. Uh, of course, if you want to get any of my protein stuff, use the link in my description. Don't forget, when you do that, we automatically become best friends. I've got like a best friend uh, register, currently at about 3,500, so as soon as you use it, uh, my best friend alert goes off, I come around your house, uh, normally bring some balloons and stuff, and then we have a party, so uh, bear that in mind. Back for training, and someone around here smells. <laughs> oh, it's actually me. <laughs> Awkward. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is show you the lunch plan. So I said I'm going to go all out on the uh, vitamin and mineral salt, and I meant it when I said that. So pass over here, please. Oh. Let's go. So, basically, I have raided uh, the cupboards and uh, our, actually our vegetable patch outside as well. And this is what we've come up with. So, Sarah's arranged it. Look at all this freaking sweet, sweet friggin' micronutrients here. Also, I'm going to turn the radio off. It's not radio too. Awkward. Um, so yeah, we're going to have something which says assures me is called a Buddha bowl. Sarah, you winding me up? Is it actually called that? What? Yeah. I'm not convinced. A Buddha bowl. It's basically, it's a bowl. What is it? It's a bowl of like stuff. Yeah. Okay. So it's a massive bowl of stuff. So we have, like I said, all of these bits here, uh, all the vegetables like it's uh, muster. We've got some sweet potatoes, which we're, in a second we're going to cut, cut up and then uh, cook. And then basically going to chuck it all into a bowl. And it's going to be an awesome uh, micronutrient dense lunch. And we are good to go. So we've roasted the sweet potatoes, the broccoli and the pak choy. We've got some mixed nuts and seeds there, some sweet corn, sesame oil type thing, avocado, uh, quinoa, is that right? Quinoa, 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 uh, and some onions. So it's all gonna go together to make a Buddha bowl. final product now I'll be honest I'm not a big fan normally of this kind of thing but it looks friggin awesome so I'm pretty excited to try it I'm gonna get the calories up a bit by adding some feta and then I'm also gonna add a bit of hummus and that is pretty much good to go so the all-important stuff I try and get like a bit of everything to give it a fair reflection Luca's got a little breadstick there no biggie is that good, Luca? Are you jealous of my Buddha, Buddha bowl? Looks like a Buddha there. Actually. Well, I'm eating it, mate. Don't miss the moment. That was quality. Really good. Yeah. Pak Choi is like super crunchy, really. <laughs> it makes it like almost like crisps. Um, I'm pretty much a vegan now, basically. Oh, that's, the, that's the same way I get from this. Just uh, being a... The feta. What? Oh yeah. If you pretend that didn't happen, you know, I do that, I'm basically a vegan. But I wanted to quickly discuss this because I'm asked like quite a lot, well fairly frequently, um, am I going to go vegan? Um, I'll be honest, no. Like, I cannot foresee myself doing that just because, I mean, to be honest with the meat, I'm not that fussed about meat. I reckon I could easily not eat meat for a sustained period of time, but it's more um, the other stuff, like if you look back over my videos, I did a vegan day of eating um, a little while ago, and it was such a ball ache trying to buy stuff. Like, every, like in, especially in this country, I think it's worse. Like, I guess it's easier in America, but like everything contains stuff that's not vegan, so it just makes it really, really hard. And quite frankly, I can't be asked. What I may do 
is maybe start doing like one vegan day a week, so like a vegan day of eating a week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, I'm hungry and this is really good, so I'm gonna eat it. The Buddha bowl is no more, it was incredible by the way. Um, I'm now doing a bit more work, I've got a decaf coffee uh, and some cereal. The cereal is these uh, like shredded wheat kind of things, like shredded wheat with like fruit stuff inside them. Uh, and they're pretty freaking good uh, and fairly calorific, which is why I chose them. Apparently Luca is jealous by the sound of his whimpering. Luca, mate, it's mine, yeah? Deal with it. Uh, I'm gonna have this, get some work done, and then have a shower, because I'm a dirty, greasy mess, and my hair is literally ridiculous. Got all my work done, had a shower, I'm nice and clean, feeling pretty good about myself, and um, we had to go out and run a few errands. One of the errands being the picking up of this. Pretty exciting, although not exciting for you because it's only an iPhone 5S. Uh, so I currently have an iPhone 5C, had it for ages, and it freaking sucks. Like, it's only an 8 gig phone, so that for a start is annoying, which I'm constantly having to delete like photos and videos and apps and stuff. And particularly with Luca, obviously, I'm always wanting to get videos and pictures, and I can't because the memory is always full. Plus, it's only like it's limited data, which is also very annoying. So I've got a sweet deal on this bad boy, and basically everything is unlimited, and it's a much bigger phone. Uh, and it's pretty freaking cheap. I could have got like a 6 or a 7, but it was way more money and I kind of thought, to be honest, after like a week of having the phone, the novelty wears off and it's just a phone, so I'd rather save the money and spend it on better things. Um, anyway, I'm hungry, uh, it's fairly late, so let's go and continue this day of healthy eating. <laughs> Is what I have here, uh, more specifically uh, the chicken Caesar variety. Again, just like the meal earlier, this is something I would never normally have because I always think of a salad as being like uh, beneath me, but this is freaking awesome. Plus, because of the cheese and the croutons and the dressing and stuff, it's actually relatively calorific. I'll probably pad it out or something afterwards, but for now, this will do. Uh, pretty excited to eat this now because I left it a while since eating the cereal and I'm pretty hungry. Also, this thing on my lips really annoying the cut from the Zorb, the Zorb wound. I keep forgetting about it and then I open my mouth wide to eat something and it freaking hurts. So, if you feel sorry for me, give this video a like. If you don't feel sorry for me, you're a sadistic pervert and I hate you. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty friggin' awesome looking smoothie. It's strawberries, uh, raspberries, bananas, and Greek yogurt. It's like really good and also like ridiculously thick. Kind of reminds me of like Yop in the glory days before they ruined it. Um, I also have <coughs> some Aldi's version of Oreos because although I'm being healthy today, I need the calories as well, so I'm probably gonna eat the whole pack, to be fair. Uh, we're now gonna watch some Netflix, we're gonna watch uh, Peaky Blinders. I've said about it a few times, it is really good, I do like it, I do recommend it, so if you are looking for a series to watch on Netflix, assuming you've already watched Taboo on the iPlayer, the greatest program ever, then definitely recommend Peaky Blinders. And that, my friends, is gonna be where I end the video, because I think I've gone on for long enough. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow.